Astonishing video of a woman going overboard, plunging from a cruise ship. She wasn't rescued for 90 minutes, and now she's suing, saying the company didn't do enough. ABC's Rena Ninen has her story. This was how Sarah Kirby intended on celebrating her 30th birthday. But after having several drinks while on a cruise, she fell overboard, fighting for her life. I just prayed to God over and over, please don't let me die out here. Surveillance video captured her cruise line terror. I just remember leaning over the balcony to look at the side of the ship, and the next thing I knew, I was in the water. Pure terror. Falling seven decks, plunging into the murky sea. While her terror was caught on infrared footage, you might be surprised to learn this about many cruise lines. They may have a closed-circuit television camera on the deck, but it's not monitored and it's not connected to an alarm. Congress called for a man overboard system in 2010, but the cruise lines say their tests have yet to find a system that will work at sea. Let's but watch it. as I jump overboard off this boat. Three, two, one! By the time I hit the water, an alarm is sounding. A laser detects my fall and pinpoints my exact location. So why aren't cruise ships using this? The response has always been that it's not required, it's not mandated as of yet. Therefore, they are not willing to spend the money at this point. For our parent company, Disney tells 2020 it does have man overboard technology on all its ships. Even though Carnival Cruise Lines rescued her, Sarah Kirby has decided to sue. Carnival tells 2020 her claims in the suit are completely unsupported and contradicted by the evidence in the case. But it's this moment that Kirby says makes it difficult for her to return to the seas. For Good Morning America, Rena Nine and ABC News, New York.